gosh, I really don't know what to do. What should I do? Oh, I hate it when I don't know what to do. Oh, this huge expense has come up and if I pay it right now, I'm not gonna have as much to go towards our debt snowball. I could use my emergency fund, but I'll just have to save it up again next month. How do I know what's an emergency and when I should use my emergency fund? Hey, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I are on the Dave Ramsey plan to pay off more than $300,000 worth of debt as quickly as we can. So we are about halfway and if you are interested in following us on the rest of our journey, please be sure to click that big old red subscribe button down below. So today I wanted to talk to you about how you know if your emergency is emergency fund worthy. So we are gonna walk you through the process that we take to decide if we are gonna use our emergency fund or not. First things first, Decide if it's an actual emergency. What determines if it's an emergency versus not an emergency? Ask yourself these two questions. Can it wait? And is it a necessity? Some examples of things that this would cover. You got in a car accident and you gotta have your car for work. That's an emergency. Is there water coming through your roof? That's an emergency. There's a huge sale at Nordstrom's and there's a pair of shoes that you've been eyeing for six months and they're 50% off. That is not an emergency. Your dishwasher died. Whether that one is an actual emergency or not is going to 100% depend on whether you are the person that washes the dishes or not every night. Because if you have to wash them by hand, it just became an emergency. But if you watch somebody wash the dishes by hand, not an emergency. So if you determine that it cannot wait and it is an absolute necessity, then you have an emergency on your hands. So we move on to phase two. Phase two is you think if there is a cheaper way to fix something. This is when you wanna to talk to all your creative friends who always come up with super creative solutions to your problems. For example, you remember that big old hole in your roof that was causing the flooding? Maybe it's time to throw a big tarp over it and start scrimping and saving as quickly as you can until you can afford to pay cash for it to get it fixed. A lot of times I hear on the Dave Ramsey program, Dave can come up with some seriously creative ways to not use your emergency fund and not go into debt to, ha to fix a major problem. And he'll generally put some perspective on what is actually an emergency and what is not, because your definition of emergency might not be his. So phase three, you've determined it's an emergency and you've come up with the cheapest possible solution. So the next questions you're gonna ask yourself are, can you cash flow it? Or could you get out there and earn some extra income as quickly as possible? Maybe by doing some hours Ubering. So if the answer is no, no to those, then it's time to dive into the emergency fund. So we have been on this plan for two years and honestly, in that time, I can really only remember us even remotely talking about diving into the emergency fund once. And that was last year. At this time last year, we had a tax bill of $2,500. And while we were able to cash flow some of it, we weren't able to cash flow all of it. And so we discussed, really discussed using the emergency fund. Ultimately, we did some other stuff and, and moved some money around and were able to come up with the $2,500. And finally, I wanted you all to consider one thing. If you are using your emergency fund over and over and over again, and it feels like one month you save it up, the next month you're using it, one month you save it, and the next month you're using it, and it's kind of cyclical and you're not really making headway, I want you to consider Consider looking at your budget. Look at the reasons that you are being thrown off budget every month, these surprises that are coming up every month, because that'll tell you exactly where the weaknesses in your budget are. Do you have medications that you're forgetting to budget for? Is your kid getting sick every month? Do you consistently go over your grocery budget and have to go into your emergency fund because you have no other money available to you? If you are doing these things, you need to reevaluate your budget or maybe create some sinking funds for yourself. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.